It's time again for Film Focus. Here's Mike Lehman with what's new in local theaters. I opened last week with a line about the old and the new, the past and the present coming together in a beautiful blur of content to delight the senses and inspire the mind. Or something like that, at least. I mean, I hate to sound repetitive, but we've got something similar happening this week. It's Men in Black International, a series which often features a lot of retro callbacks alongside its amazing future tech, and then On the Basis of Sex, a biopic about the first female associate justice in the United States. Welcome to an Another edition of Film Focus. I'm Mike Laidman. We are the men in black. The Men in Black series has always been hot, but not so hot. The original was a breakout hit, the sequel arrived five years later and was a bit of a letdown, and then it took another ten years for the third installment to show up, which was much more enjoyable, wasn't really a convincing argument that the series should be continued. But now here we are, another seven years on and with a new, younger cast ready to step into the boots of Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. The Men in Black have always protected the Earth from the scum of the universe. And now, in this new adventure, they tackle their biggest, most global threat to date, a mole in the Men in Black organization. We already know that Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson have great chemistry from their time together in Thor Ragnarok, so will it hold up here? No, not really, unfortunately. It's serviceable, it's fun, but it's nothing special. And despite some fun set pieces, better effects, and a few moments between the two leads, International won't leave you hankering for more Men in Black. There should be a big red button around here somewhere. Found it. We are the Men in Black. An inspiring and spirited true story that follows young lawyer Ruth Bader Ginsburg as she teams up with her husband Marty to bring a groundbreaking case before the U.S. Court of Appeals and overturn a century of gender discrimination. While it's a much more compelling story than Men in Black, it actually doesn't really live up to the fascination of its real-life subject. That and being a little too upfront are perhaps its biggest flaws, but they're by no means deal-breakers. The parallels between sexism and racism are placed right before our eyes on more more than one occasion, but sometimes a movie needs to be blunt to get its point across succinctly. While On the Basis of Sex is a fairly by-the-numbers biopic, not serving to really give its subject the treatment she deserves, it still remains an enjoyable drama about an important movement within the American legal system. The word woman does not appear even once in the U.S. Constitution. Nor does the word freedom. Your Honor. 